Question number 15. The density of air decreases almost linearly with height, right? So it's almost linearly. Very important to pay attention to details, right? What is the question trying to um to say? And a lot of, a lot of it comes from paying attention to particular words within the question, right? With height from 1.22 to 0.74 at an altitude of 5,000. Atmospheric pressure at the Earth's surface on a particular day is 100 thousand kilopascals the value of g between the earth's surface and an altitude of 1000 or 5000 can be considered to have a constant value of 9.7 what will be the atmospheric pressure at an altitude of 5000 so i need you guys whenever you see questions that you don't understand especially questions that are very complicated or times very difficult to understand i highly encourage that you draw diagrams right i highly 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 recommend it right so for question 15 Let's draw this diagram and try to analyze what this means together, right? So for question 15, let's first start at the ground, right? So we're going to start at the ground where we are at the surface of the earth, right? So basically, we're going to start at the surface of the earth, right? Um, so basically, this is the earth's surface, right? So the earth, earth's surface, right? So... We draw that the pressure at the earth's surface is 100,000 pascals, right? So it's 100,000 pascals, right? But what does pressure on the earth look like? What does it mean to say that we have pressure on the earth? Remember, the earth has an atmosphere and that atmosphere has air and air has weight, right? So that causes a pressure because... Let me just take a column of this. Like, let me just take a column so that you can be able to see this. Let me take this column, right? Maybe from here, okay, up until here, right? So if I take this column of air, you agree with me that in this middle, you're going to have this air, right? That will be over here, okay? So basically, this is air that's going to be present and that air is going to be pressing down, right? So we just say, this is all the air that we have, right? So this air is going to press down over here, right? So this is air, and that air is going to press down. But it's going to cause a force, right? Over a certain area, over a certain area. So this is the force F that is going to cause, but this is over a certain area A, right? We can agree on that, right? Because that's going to cause a pressure, which is going to be 100,000 pascals. And how far does it extend? Well, as big as our atmosphere. That's how long that column of air is actually going to be. Okay? And to be told that the value of density at this point, the density at this point is actually going to be, um, where is the question? Um, one point, the value of density at this point is going to be 1.22, right? So the value of the density at the surface is going to be 1.22. But get this. We now want to find the value of G at an altitude of 5,000. So we're going to go up to 5,000, right? So we're basically going to be here, right? At this particular point, right? And say at this point, we now have this column of air that will be over here. Where does this column extend? As far as the atmosphere, right? As far as into space. That is the weight of air that will be there, right? So this column at 5,000, is going to have a certain pressure. We know that pressure increases, rather pressure increases with the height that you have, right? So at this point, you can agree that at this point, okay, so at this point, there's going to be a certain pressure, P. That's what we want to find because this air is going to press down a certain point that I've just labeled at 5,000 meters, right? It's going to cause a certain pressure at that point. Is it making sense? So, if we were to find, right, so let's extend it. If we were to find that density, right, the density at this point is actually the value of the density is uh, 0 0.74. The value of the density is actually 0 0.74. But I don't know how I'm going to find my value of H. Remember, the atmosphere extends as far as it can go. We don't know the value of H because the value of H essentially is just this height right? This is your value of H, but you don't know that value of H. But why am I so interested in the value of H to begin with? Why? Because pressure is rho GH. The pressure in a liquid or in a gas is rho GH. So if I have the height, 
I can find the pressure because at 5,000, I can find the pressure. That's what I want to find. But I don't know the height age. How do I solve it? Well, I can consider going from the ground up to 5,000. So I can consider this, this portion of air, right? And at this level, I'll be at 5,000, right? So it's at 5,000, and I can just consider this portion of air alone, right? So this is the portion that I'll be considering. Okay, very important. And I want you to get this. This portion is going to cause a certain pressure on the ground, a certain force on a, about a certain area, right? So you can agree that pressure will be there, right? But it's different from this pressure in the first system because this is system one, system two, system three. You can agree that system three has the least pressure amongst all the systems, right? So if I find the pressure in system one, sorry, if I find the pressure in system three, I know that minus the pressure in system one, which is 100,000, I'll get the pressure in system two because the system three is just going from where I left off in 5,000, going upwards, right? That's the whole air that I have. So how do I find the pressure in system three? Very exciting, right? So, um, so how do I find the pressure in system three? Pressure, we go again. Pressure is actually H rho G, right? What is your value of H? 5,000 times your density times the value of G, which is actually 9.7. So the value of G is actually 9.7 multiplied by 9.7, right? So very important for you to be thinking of that. But get this, guys. We don't know what the density actually is. It's very important, right? Because we've been told that the density decreases almost linearly with height. So if I were to ask you, what is the density of this air that I've just shaded in yellow? You won't give me a value because there's a lot of points that you can take as flame of references. What do I mean by this? Well, if you're at this point, if you take this column of air, it is a certain density that it has, right? Let's assume that the density is one, right? If I were to take another portion, a portion may be here. It's going to have a different density. If I'm going to take another portion over here, it's going to have another different density. If I'm going to take another portion here, it's going to have a different density. So these portions will keep on having different densities. So I don't know what density I'm going to use. So I do. what do I do? I find the average. If at that point is 0 0.74 and the ground is 1.22, the air in between has to just be an average of that. Because on average, I can say, okay, if at the top is 0 0.74 and the bottom is 1.2, on average, it's going to be 1.22 plus 0 0.74. So my density, that's going to be 5,000, okay, multiplied by 1.22 plus 0 0.74 divided by 2 multiplied by 9.7. That's going to be 5,000 multiplied by, okay, 5,000 multiplied by, um, that that average is going to give me about 0 0.98 okay 0 0.98 multiplied by 9.7 0 0.98 get this that's why i found the average it basically means that 0 0.98 is the average density of that a that i expect to find because i took two points if i knew more points i'll just say i add up all those uh, points and divide by how many points i have that would be more accurate, actually. But since I'm given two points, the average density, because any thick column of air that you take will have a different density. Because air, the density is actually decreasing. It's 1.22 here, but it's actually decreasing as we go up. So it decreases. So I can't say it's 1.10. It's one. I don't know. Right At this point, it could be 1.2, 1.08, 1.0.9, and 0.74. So to find the density of that air, I have to find the average. So this is going to give me an answer of approximately 48,000 pascals, right? So if this is going to cause 48,000 pascals and before here is going to cause 100,000 pascals. So the pressure, basically, so the pressure at 5,000 is going to be what, right? 100,000, okay, subtract. 48,000, okay, that's going to give you what? 52,000 pascals, and our answer um, will be C. Right? So very important, it was a bit complicated, but if you just understand that, pressure di differs, right? And the hardest part here was understanding that this is the average density that I need to work with, right? Very important.